I think this is a, the perfect trail maker. Look at this thing, man. Well, what's up, guys? It's Daniel from Arms Family Homestead, and I'm getting an early start on this uh, beautiful, foggy Oklahoma fall morning. But uh, I got to get the trailer hooked up on the... Uh, on the truck and load my tractor because we're going to be over in mill creek on the other property working today i've got a friend coming from out of state bringing me a new implement for my tym tractor um so it'll be a youtube collaboration he's got a channel i'll introduce you to him in a little bit but uh we're going to use the tym tractor because he's a john deere man and uh worked out a partnership on a new piece of equipment that was too big for his john deere tractor i said I got you, buddy. So, anyways, let's get this thing started. Well, we made it over to the Mill Creek property, got the tractor all unloaded, and I kept thinking today was gonna clear off and be a nice day, but it's kind of a drizzly, windy day, but I'm not complaining because drizzle in the air means moisture, and we need all the moisture we can get. Um, but I have quite the assortment of tractor attachments and tools and got a new one over here I'm gonna show you in just a second. But the reason we're here is I had a friend uh, recently um, acquire a new implement for his tractor that was way too big. And, uh, he's also a John Deere guy and I'm doing my best to convert him to a <clears throat> different brand. Let's say that. But my plan is bring the tractor out here. We've got the grapple hooked on. I've got the Woodland Mills wood chipper. I brought the, the uh, mini clip tree shear. And we're going to let him test out a bunch of stuff and, and get some seat time in a TYM tractor. But what he brought and who he is, hang on just a second, I'll tell you. So there's the new machine. Some of you may know what that is and some of you may not, but I'll promise you we're going to show you in a little bit. But this is Brock from Rock Hill Farm. And uh, you guys have seen Brock on the channel briefly. Um, I think I videoed that. I can't yeah. remember. Yeah, at the farm at the National Farm Machinery Show, I recognized Brock, and he was like, "What?" You know, I've watched Brock's channel for quite a while. Back, I found him back when you were building. I don't have to talk about you in the third person. You're standing right here, but I found your channel back when you're building the Quonset Hut. Um, you, you're a brave man. That I don't know how many bolts adventure. that was, but I don't know that I'd want to build one of those myself. Yeah, something like 6,000 bolts. It was quite an adventure to get that thing put up. Yeah, uh, it was but nuts. It saved a little bit of money on it. So Brock's channel is called Rock Hill Farm. You do a lot of tractor work, skid steer work, um, just that type of stuff, equipment, machinery. Um, drive a John Deere tractor. Not today you don't. Today you're going to drive a TYM. Um, I've noticed that a lot of shows you've been hanging around the TYM booth. Um, so I figured we might as well get Brock some seat time in a TYM tractor, but what's the story on this big giant orange implement that, uh, you brought so graciously to my, uh, to my place. So, uh, that is a Machio flail mower that will cut three inch material. And I talked to Machio for a long time about this. This is, um, a product that they sent me to demonstrate on my channel and apparently one of us, probably myself, didn't do a very good job communicating that this is way too big. You need a tractor like Daniel has to run this. So I've come up here to actually see it do some cutting. And I think it's going to be, I mean, this thing's heavy built. I think it's going to be pretty cool. Well, I figure we'll shoot, uh, we'll shoot a video for my channel and we'll shoot. I mean, you can do whatever you want to do on this place. It's a blank slate. I know you want to try out the mini clip and... Um, I figure you'll, 
use this and you can show it on your channel you're welcome to do whatever you want to with it here we've got a lot of cleanup that can be done and uh, hopefully not disturb the deer hunting too much but so most most of the flail mowers that i've seen on youtube I, i've never used a flail mower myself but most of them are have multiple sets of hydraulics where it'll swing out to the side and raise up and you can mow bar ditches and pond dams and all that so this one only has a hydraulic shift to offset it beside the tractor and uh i think it's because this thing is built like a tank this is a lot heavier duty than most of the ones i've seen on youtube right yeah and a flail mower you know it works like a brush hog but it will also really shred the material up and leave it like a finish cut with a finish mower but this Moshio wanted something that would cut heavier material and to build it that heavy duty it couldn't really offset the way some of them do so the way this thing is it's built it's got a big drum inside here you can see it rotates around it has those hammers and uh those are quite large we'll look at it a little bit closer once we get it unloaded off the trailer and uh hooked up on the tractor and do some work with it glad you didn't forget that part yeah i thought you were trying to walk out here and just give me the shaft <laughs> <laughs> i'm wondering if this has a slip clutch on it i haven't even looked So we got the flail mower all hooked up and tested it out as far as moving side to side and stuff one thing i really do wish and i, and I kind of thought that it would be more offset which we can adjust our our arms to offset a little bit more but as far as hydraulically offsetting like you saw it moving back and forth it's as far over it'll as it'll go but uh brock said so this this um model of flail mower from Masio is not even available for sale yet right right this it'll be brand spring. new this is like top secret stuff we're doing here so if we do something wrong it's because it's top secret and well there's no rules yet but uh this model is built way heavier duty than a lot of them and it's it's a heavy machine where typically Moshio, a lot of their flail mowers will really offset out beside the tractor and even flip up so you could you could mow or you could trim trees on on your trail sides and stuff I was really hoping this would offset at least a couple feet past my tractor, but uh, this thing is built like a tank. It weighs a ton, and I'm really excited to see how it cuts, but I told you I'd show you the hammers under here a little better. I don't know if you guys can see, but this thing has some very heavy duty cutting hammers on here. There's a couple different styles. When you when it talk about flail mowers, you have, you have um, style that's made really mostly for grass and small stuff and they're like knives is that the proper term yeah i think so and then hammers for the heavy duty y blades or y blades yeah the, they're like a, that's why i pointed i did the piece on they're like a y blade i call them knives but then this style and a lot of their heavier duty ones have hammer blades and uh this should be like borderline mulcher this thing will cut up a lot of stuff and we've got a lot of undergrowth and a lot of brush that we can test it out on so we're gonna play with it a little bit and see what it'll do so honestly this is kind of the blind leading the blind brock and i neither one have ever used a flail mower so we're just trying to get it all adjusted and figure out how to set it and uh it's really nice having an extra set of eyeballs here they can kind of help guide me and show me where the skids are in relation to the ground and where the roller is and just learning how to get it set up properly I think it'll make a huge difference.
so first impressions are it it cuts a very clean cut on on the grass when you're just using it to mow grass and stuff i mean i think you could probably mow at a lot higher speed with this than you could a, a brush hog or rotary cutter or whatever and and get a better cut but uh, the true test is this thing's built heavy duty it's made to cut brush and limbs and trees so we're going to test it out on some bigger material and see if we can figure this out i did back over a few small shrubs and stuff just to see basically all i did was just back into this mess and it knocks everything down kind of cuts it but when you pull forward it really mulches it up and just turns it into i mean <laughs> mulch that's one thing you're not going to get with with a brush hog or a, a rotary style cutter it's going to cut it down but you're just going to get you're going to throw sticks and stuff out everywhere and uh I don't know. Like I said, this is the first time I've ever used one of these uh, flail mowers. This is totally new to me. I'm not trying to sell you guys one. I just wanted to try one out because I've seen them on about, what, a dozen YouTube channels out there. Everybody claims that this is the best thing for mowing, not just grass, but brush. And as you can see, a lot of this property is overgrown. Um, I still really think it would have been nice to have one that offset a little farther so we could just drive forward and not have to worry about damaging our pretty cab tractor and busting out windows but i think this there's a learning curve to it but i think it's going to have a really good place in our uh, arsenal of equipment here well we're going to put brock in the seat of the the tym t574 and see what he can do um we're we're, we're learning on this together now this Machio flail mower is incredibly heavy duty. They call it the Terminator for a reason. And I think we were a little bit wrong, Brock, because the product tag, actually, we're calling this a flail mower. And if you look at the actual tag on here, it's technically a mulcher, the Terminator HYD. So it's a mulcher. It's doing its job. And uh, we're going to put Brock in the front seat. Well, only seat of the tym and uh let him test this thing out and see what he thinks he's probably got as much or more experience on tractors as i do so we'll see what you think i like running them this thing's huge compared to mine so. yeah and uh we have ac up here we have a heater we got a radio so make yourself at home yeah get used I to like it, it. I like it. <laughs> but you do have a, a john deere skid steer that has a cab on it so you know what the cab's like yeah i'm not big machines aren't foreign to me uh, yeah i just can't get over how much bigger this is but you ready to crank it up yeah goodness we found where this thing shines now i'm telling you, these these are green briars and this stuff is so thick it is nothing nothing but thorns okay green briars are man they're rough now like my brother-in-law dusty fights uh wild blackberries 
well this is very similar to what a blackberry thicket would be like there, there's no you know deer do forage on green briar leaves and stuff there's no way deer can even travel through this um because there's so much old dead matted briars to the ground but we found a tool that will absolutely devastate these green briars now yes you could come through here with a, a brush hog or rotary cutter but they they don't chop up these vines the way that this uh this machio mulcher is doing i mean this you this basically just took a green briar thicket and turned it into a campsite i mean i don't know what uh <laughs> i don't know what brock thinks about it but i'm pretty impressed with that yeah that was uh that was definitely impressive you basically turned a briar thicket into a campsite in the woods and, and you mulched it like all that you just chopped up will turn into mulch just like if somebody mulched your flower beds and uh that's something you don't get with a a rotary style brush hog you don't get that finely chopped up stuff so that was pretty impressive it's going to take some practice and some experience on how to get those bigger trees that two to three inch tree perfectly mulched up but as far as what we just did in the brush right there that was impressive so i want your first thoughts on the tym cab tractor um i know you've kind of sort of been looking at tym for a while i've i've caught on to your videos at all the expos and trade shows so i'm a little bit drawn to it um yeah i'm a little bit drawn to it it feels really stable being a lot bigger tractor than mine everything all the controls were smooth um a little bit jerky on the three-point lever but honestly so is mine it's a manual adjustment um but yeah easy to just jump in it and go yeah there's not a big learning curve to driving that thing and it you can feel it compared to what i'm coming from there's a lot more power and the, the cab's roomy comfortable so yeah what about our our uh forestry mulcher man I, I, first off thank you so much for bringing this down i know it was like what a six hour drive for you to bring it down um i'm looking forward to shooting a lot of videos with you today i think you're probably going to do two or three other videos on some different equipment and stuff but first off thanks for coming down i really appreciate it i think if i had your property and i had your tractor i'd want that on the back of it because there's so much out here that needs cleared and that's going to do a good job of it a variety of different um vegetation whether it's these small dead trees or just the brush like we just did i think it's a good pairing all the way I down to the grass the, i think this is the right size for this too yeah it, it definitely is a very uh heavy implement that t requires a pretty good size tractor but this thing will what i i think i'm impressed with is you can go we did chew up the ground a little bit just learning where to put our skids and stuff but when you're talking about just something that that can mow that can cut brush and can mulch up trees i mean it's kind of a an all-around good implement for that so yep. we'll see how it uh, holds up over time so on part two of today's what can two dudes tear up <laughs> not really uh, brock has been wanting to try out the mini clip so this you guys saw i did a video on this i don't know a few weeks ago from precision manufacturing it's a, it's a hydraulic tree shear and we got a couple different options go i was thinking what we would do is let brock trim some trees for us because we've got a lot of low-hanging branches around the cabin and stuff and i brought my uh woodland mills wood chipper over here well we already have a mulcher on the back of the tractor so we're going to do a couple different things i'm going to let brock learn how to use this thing and try it out because he's been looking at these really hard for a while i think and uh we'll probably some of the smaller stuff will just mulch up with the uh machio mulcher flail mower that's on the back of the tractor already but we're probably gonna do some tree trimming with some bigger stuff that's not made to go through that and this woodland mill chipper will chip up to an eight inch limb and he's wanted to try this out and compare it to a uh, chipper that he has it's a little smaller frontier brand isn't it yeah it's rated for seven inch material on mine yeah it does not have a hydraulic end feed it's actually really heavy built but it was more expensive than the woodland mills and it doesn't have that hydraulic end feed and it doesn't have the lever to stop it out on the end so i really think i'm gonna like the woodland mills better but that lever to stop it also puts it it puts that end feed in reverse and that was one thing that I've, I've only used this a couple times. And one thing I learned with it is you try to put a branch in and you, you get to a point where it won't pull it in because you got a Y in a branch or something. 
you can put it in reverse and it just shoots that branch back out to you and you don't have to fight it. I'm looking to see how, how that compares and how it compares to just mulching it on the ground with the mulchers. Well, let's quit talking and get to working. I don't know if I told you guys correctly the first time I, I showed this uh, precision manufacturing mini clip. If you're wanting to purchase one of these things, you have to go through a website called Ag Folks, and that's the link in the description box. Um, I have a discount code. It'll save you like 5%. Use, our, use code arms family five but they also sell Machio flail mowers and a ton of other tractor equipment now this specific Machio flail mower slash mulcher isn't available yet but uh from what brock said it should be available sometime in the spring there is a bit of a learning curve learning to use that that diverter you got a remote control that lets you pivot the head of that shear So this old pecan tree that Brock's trimming is pretty typical of what pecan trees do and uh, over time their branches try to hang down and almost touch the ground and you're not able to uh, to mow under them and around them and stuff and this big I mean this is a hundred year old uh, pecan tree probably and I'm not one of those people that say pecans it's a pecan but uh, we used the forestry mulcher when we first brought bought this property and cleaned up around it but even still those branches were hanging so low you couldn't safely drive the tractor under without knocking the windows out so what he just did in a couple minutes is a heck of a lot easier than a pole saw you know the natural order of things with most youtube channels as they grow is they end up hiring you know people to help out like cameramen and editors and stuff and i kind of like running the camera and having brock on the tractor i'm able to get a lot better shots for you guys than uh trying to just set a camera up and do it all on my own and uh the guy's good on the tractor he's pretty handy with what he's doing but so a lot of these limbs are definitely too big to run that mulcher over i mean you're looking at a five six inch base of this limb right here it's too big but a lot of this stuff is smaller and we can at least take the tops of it off and then run the, the bigger parts through the chipper Well, that pile of limbs is just about gone, but you know, something like this is gonna be all the Y's and crooks and bends. It's gonna be hard to put that through a chipper, but it's just a little bit more than what we wanna put through the Machio mulcher right now. But these limbs like this, we'll just throw straight in the chipper and be gone in a matter of seconds. Visibility is not the best from inside the cab when you're working. Um, I think in a skid steer, obviously it'd be a little bit better, but look at there, he's doing a good job. He's pretty close to the ground. There, he's, 
not able to drive off with the entire tree. Did anybody order some cedar mulch? Because we've got some. That tree just got destroyed. I mean, obviously it's not mulch like you'd put in your flower bed. It's a little bit bigger, but I don't care. That's all gonna go back into the soil and improve the soil. And uh, we're one less cedar tree on our property. Now I'm just showing the highlights and bits and pieces. If you wanna see more, be sure to check out Brock's channel. Rock Hill Farm on YouTube, Facebook, all the places. Um, Brock's got all kinds of tractor videos, and uh, he's probably probably going to shoot at least three videos here today. So go check him out and tell him Daniel from Arms Family Homestead sent you. So I guess now that uh, Brock has finished playing with the grapple, it was a lot of fun. I'm t I've told people this for years. If there's only one implement that I could buy and put on my tractor, it'd be a grapple. It changes the entire function of a tractor completely. Like uh, above any three-point implement, a grapple this would save your back more than anything. But we've got the uh, the Woodland Mills wood chipper hooked up. He wants to test this thing out and compare it to uh, his chipper and see how it does with that power in feed. Mine has a hydraulic in feed, so it actually sucks the limb in. You don't have to push it in. So, anyways, less talking, more work, right? Sounds good. coming off of it. our finished pile of wood chips Brock's picking up a few of the the bigger pieces that we didn't want to run through the chipper but uh, check this out perfect wood chips now obviously these aren't what you're gonna buy at you know a farm store for bedding for your livestock or something these are all different sizes but and the pine needles obviously come through whole but it smells like Christmas around here I can promise you that and uh, this is good for a lot of purposes I mean you can compost it you can put it down in you know wet areas that get muddy and stuff where your livestock are but probably not bedding because it's not dried like wood shavings now I'm just not sure if I'm gonna be able to get this guy off my tractor today or not no you can't take it home with you that's what I was about to say I could I could spend all day in that. I mean, I know you brought a trailer, but can't take this one home. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you got to try, right? Yeah. Hey, that's what's awesome about YouTube. Where else could you have gone to test drive a tractor to use the mini clip, the, let's see, the wood chipper, the grapple, the flail mower, all in one day. Yeah, all in one about, morning, really. I'm all about playing with the equipment. Uh, you got some nice equipment. Well, appreciate it. I've been working hard to uh, accumulate all of these things, I guess. That way you can be a good steward of your land. I try. So like I said earlier, be sure to check out Brock at Rock Hill Farm, Facebook, YouTube, all the places. Um, I'm not sure if we got him completely converted from John Deere, but it's probably not a fair comparison when you're going from a 38 horsepower open cab tractor to a 55 horsepower cab tractor. But Either way, it's awesome to be able to work together, get out here, well, get work done on the place. It's nice to have some help out here. Um, so when you, you come back next weekend, right? And the next, because <laughs> yeah. there's a lot of work, but um, it's awesome to be able to collaborate and uh, be able to get to use other stuff to know what you want to spend your money on, really. Yeah, I had a great time. I really appreciate you having me here. Yeah, thanks for coming down. Thanks for bringing that flail mower, that mulcher that we 
put through its paces today. Uh, be sure to check out the link in the description box. Um, there's so many different things we use today. I'm not going to leave links to all the products, but Ag Folks helps us out on the mini clip. And they also have all of the, well, not the woodland mills, but the, the uh, flail mower, the Machio flail mower. That exact model's not on not for sale on, on the website, but you can also go to Machio's website and look for dealers in your area and see when they may be able to get uh, get something in like that. But uh, the flail mower, I believe, has a place here, and I'm looking forward to using it a bunch. So thank you so much for working out a deal and bringing it down for me. It means a lot. Yep. Yeah. Well, guys, that's all I've got for today. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. You guys have a great day, and as always, we'll see you on the next video.